Hey guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go, and in this episode of IOTA, we're going to cover how to calculate how much recording time you can get on a memory card with any camera or any card size. First thing you need to do is find out what your camera's recording bitrate is. For most cameras, this can be changed depending on the codec and resolution you'll be recording in. But most of the time, you can easily find this information on the manufacturer's website under the camera's technical specs, or you might try a major retailer like Hunts Photo and Video or B&H. The number you're going to be looking for is going to be an uppercase M and a lowercase b and formatted like this, or like this. Once you have that number, let's just take the C100 Mark II for an example, with a bitrate of 35 megabits per second, you'll want to turn that into megabytes per second. You do that by multiplying the bitrate of 35 by 0.125. Now that you have megabytes per second, in this case it's 4.375, you want to multiply that number by 60 to turn it into megabytes per minute, which in this case is 262.5. Then you're going to take that number and divide it by 1000 to turn it into how many gigabytes per minute your camera records. For the C100, it would be 0.2625. Now to see how many minutes will fit on a specific card, divide the card size in gigabytes, say a 32 gigabyte card by the gigabytes per minute that we just calculated. So you're gonna take the 32 and divide that by 0.2625. And that's how many minutes of recording you'll be able to fit on a 32 gigabyte card. So on a camera running at 35 megabits per second, you could have 122 minutes or just over two hours of recording time on a 32 gigabyte card. Now I know this is a lot of calculations and it's not ideal to figure out quickly. So in the description below, I have put together a calculator for you to use to put in your own bitrate and card size, and it'll figure out the rest for you. That's all I have for you today. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. As always, happy shooting.